video tutorial for the automail I made for my sister. Um, I don't know if it's any good, but I'm going to try. And the pictures will pop up on the screen that I took of um, the progress while I made it. And um, yeah, so here it goes. Um, first of all, I bought 10 A3 sheets of these. I only use four. Um, they're just foam sheets um, from Hobbycraft really flimsy and cheap to about 80p each, 80 pence um, so yeah really cheap but um, I didn't want to get anything too thick because for your arm movements if it was really thick it restricts you, it'd be heavy, you know, it hurt, it'd be harder to shake so I just went for some cheap stuff like that so first thing I did was I got some A4 paper and I made some templates which I wrapped around my arm um, my sister is the same size as me and I don't, I can't measure on time with a um, measuring tape very well, so I use my own arm as a template. So I just wrapped it around my arm, and that's too small, that's too tight, that needs to be a bit longer, you know, things like that. Um, if you're making it for yourself, you can easily do that too. Um, if you're making it for a friend, um, you might want to get their arm measurements, or even easier, you could get them to sit there while you wrap paper around their arm. Um, I did Alphonse's armor out of paper first, so that kind of helped me with the shapes. But they're quite basic shapes. Um, if you Google online, I think you can find some templates. I did stumble across them a while ago when I was looking for Alphonse's armor, but I didn't use those ones. So yeah, that's completely up to you. Um, after I cut out all the shapes, I used a hot glue gun to stick them all together. Um, I recommend you don't stick them together till after you've painted and added everything, um, because that got a bit harder later on. But that's up to you. Um. Once that was done, I spray painted everything with rubber paint. The craft foam I used, um, I'd never done something like this, but my friend has, and he told me that um, the foam I used eats um, paint, it like absorbs it. And when I googled it online, I found a good, um, and from other automail tutorials, tutorials, um, I found that a lot of people seal it with this rubber paint. Um, I got gum grey colour, you could get it um, clear, you know, it's up to you. Like, I only got a black base because if there was any gaps, it looked like black, like dark, to hidden, like the black sleeve I was going to stick it on. Obviously, you could get any colour if you're going to paint it properly. Um, so you could get clear of this, or you could get gum grey that we got. As I said, if you paint it gum grey, you don't even have to use metallic spray, you know, that's like paint and sealer in one, it does colour it. But that's completely up to you. It's it to me. It looks more like a season one effect, and I wanted a more brotherhood, um, realistic sort of effect. So that's completely up to you. I just got gone grey in case I didn't paint it properly. Um, so when that dried, I used this. Um, I got this online rather cheap for about three pounds, but usually it's like a tenner, eleven pounds each. I just got lucky. Um, for this certain time because I ran out. It took me the whole can to spray everything 250 mils um i'm a uk size 10 12 my sister is so if you're a lot bigger than that you might need a bit more um foam which would mean you need a bit more spray but that's up to you it might be enough for you i'm not sure but i used a whole can painting um mine okay so when i painted mine um we get i am there's bolts on the joints um I just used googly eyes and I painted them and I just used a sharpie to add details on. Um, so yeah that's that. Um, while making it um, I also bought elastic and I also bought some velcro. It's a bit tattered right now. Um, the idea for that was I was originally, like a lot of people do, they put elastic around the sides but as I said we're the same size so mine alone, the base alone, it, it looks really tight so I didn't need to use uh, elastic but you can um, that was quite cheap but I can't remember how much I got three meters um, same with the velcro that was so when you put it together you could velcro it on and off but we stuck ours on the sleeve instead so I didn't really need that much um, one of the other things I did on my one is here this is the arm grid um, he transformed it to a blade so if you just on for that. I made a plain base there and um, I just traced the same base and edited it each time um, so there's the normal one um, I just 
you, people can use stuff clips, um, you could use just one grade clip, you know, it's up to you. I did Velcro because it doesn't have to be accurately to just work the stick on. And I'm not very good at measurements, as I said before, so that was easier for me. Um, for the sleeve, if you can look, it's quite pleathery. Um, I bought a top to cut up to make a top be from cosplay, and the sleeve that came with it were long black pleather ones, so I just chopped the sleeve off for that and stuck it on to keep it all together. Um, some people use elastic, some people don't do that, like, you know. Some people use a glove underneath, that's completely up to you. So, that's my auto mail. Um, it just slides on <laughs> like that. Um, yeah, I haven't got the hand on, it is here. I haven't made the fingers yet, but they're very simple. Um, that's my hand. Um, the only thing I'd say is be careful when you paint it because I put a lot um, the rubber spray kind of does this bumpy bubbles there and I put too much spray paint on so you can see some paint marks on it um, if you're better at painting you could do that a lot better than I did I was kind of rushing it um, and I kind of wanted it like that you could do more than one layer of paint to make it more even but I liked it being quite blotchy because um, it looks more worn to me and it bashes and scratches heads a lot so it's more worn more than brand newish so I was like you know um one more thing I'd say is Ed's has some layers to it like on the base if you can see mine all I did was the template I drew on the pattern and when I traced it onto the foam and cut that out and then cut out the shapes I wanted layer up trace them on, hot glue them on top and so on. Uh, I think it's quite comfortable and easy to use. Um, obviously you can try different techniques. I'd recommend that you watch a few different tutorials online, read up, see what method works best for you. It's different for everyone. So um, altogether this cost me about £50. I tried to make it cheap but that's as cheap as it went for me. Um, but a lot of that was because I bought weight elastic that I didn't need, a lot of velcro I didn't need, loads of googly eyes which we had lying on the bedroom. I bought an extra can of paint. Um, as I said, I bought 10 sheets so instead of it only being £3.60 it was £8 for just the foam. So I spent about 50 but you could probably spend a lot less than that. It just depends where you get your stuff and what you get and what method you go for. But uh, I hope this was helpful and good luck!